Yes. Why are you listening? To <laughs> Why are you listening to Rob? He's running the show now. <laughs> Rob is running the show. Oh, that's Jim. That's Jim. I, I am Jim Stansel. Yeah. yeah. Punk rock action. I like this chick. She's crazy. Yo. Yeah. I like that shit. This chick just like singing about chopping her boyfriend up and, and she's happy about it. Good for her. Is that the is that the offshoot of garbage called you, trash? Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it's it's complete garbage. Uh, Did you put that on garbage. because I'm on today? No, no, no. I actually like that song. It's pretty good. There's another one. Uh, it's called Stab Me. No, it's not Jawbreaker. You know what? That that's weird that you said that because I just found out about that band like a month ago. I like one song. Um, you know, are we live now or are we still just fucking around? We're live. We live. Uh, is this like a live feed or do you record it normally? It yeah, live? we're we're live like on YouTube, but it's like a thirty second delay. We're live because we thought the N word would be flying high. Yes, yes. How's Don't it worry. Gotten, I'm trying to read your shirt, Matt. Uh, it says uh, Doug fucking. Uh, this is for my this is for my buddy who who died uh, last month. This we're going out for the homie. How would he die? Uh, o- overdose. Check, oh, check classic. Okay. No, oh, well, I'm sorry that your friend died. Yeah, that's okay. Stancil's got um, is too. Stancil has a new tank top on. What does that Stancil, say, Stancil? Yeah, Jim Stancil grew a couple inches. This is for Mufasa. Who also he also died. became Vietnamese. Oh, that's that Lion King thing, right? The movie. Beautiful boy. Um, it's fucking pouring again here. Do you guys want to see? So I moved to Florida. Uh, I don't yeah. have a shirt for a dead friend. I just have a sports bra on. Um, It'll I moved probably to Florida. Kill somebody. What'd you say? <laughs> It'll probably kill someone at yeah. some point. Yes. Let's hope. Yeah. Uh, Alex, uh, are you sure that Florida is a good choice for, for someone of your stature? What do you mean? Like, uh, you know, you've been known to uh, cause some trouble and, and, you know, have a lot of fun while doing that. Now, Florida can be a wild place. I, I've been there a few times. That's the only place I've ever almost gotten my ass kicked a few times was Florida. Well, yeah. Also, why did you attack those three black women the other night on, uh, on YouTube? Why did I? Yeah, the Fort Lauderdale airport. And looked extremely like you. As First of all, they were cooning. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm never a fan. I'm taking huh. you guys out to see the rain. So I got rain here. Yeah. This is my like super white trash little patio area. I is live it, with my best uh, friend from college. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, it is. You got turf grass? Yeah. I got turf grass too. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna try uh, to front. Fuck <laughs> up. You have actual. T- you but have look at this shit. Absolutely downpour. It's not That's that bad. It just started raining as you said that. Oh, That's look my at car you guys. In the background. Nice car. Now, is that a Honda my Accord? A little Ford Escape. Oh, Ford Escape. Okay, gotcha. Um, very Florida. Cute. Mm-hmm. Very Florida. Florida. No, why did I move to Florida? Because I'm from here. Yeah. And yeah, we, I think we knew that. Oh, I did not know that. Well, I it was a fucking on, lucky guess. Um, <laughs> I like his style today. Wow, Stancil's back. He changed his tank top quickly. Uh, I did, tank top real quick. Did you yeah, see that goatee? Changed. What the fuck was that? Was that Sharpie or? He just shaved. Uh, why did I? Yeah, why oh. did I move to Florida? Because one, I'm from here. This is where I grew up. Right. Uh, and two, New York is dead. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's three, never you're right. Here. I do. I am. I, I do like to cause a bit of a ruckus, but that's why, like, I'm home here. Like, they made yeah. me their queen. That's quite all right. No, now it makes sense that you're from there. I had no idea. So that's yeah. awesome. So, I, uh, um, I went to high school in Connecticut, but yeah, no, all before that, born and bred Florida. I lived in Florida yeah. before I moved to New York. Okay, cool. So Panhandle or, or more South? Fuck you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I um uh, no, I'm from I'm from this little sleepy town on the east coast called Melbourne Beach. Melbourne, it's like a little okay. Beach town. Yeah. And then uh, my mom lives on the west coast now, kind of by Tampa, and I live in Orlando now because. Ah, uh, I got hmm. friends in Orlando. I got uh, I know a couple of people in Gainesville. There you go. And, uh, That's another, like two and a half hours away. There's a place called Milton. One of my good good friends lives in a place called Milton. Now that's white trash. I'll tell you. Yeah. There's like 20 I just, people. Orlando's there. cool though because they have like a um they're super into late tomer versions like you can get one at like 36 months here and you're still cool yeah casey anthony did it i know she's great <laughs> <laughs> now does, is casey oh, anthony God. still live in orlando N- no i think she moved south fuck 
what could you there... trying to get like re-pregnant again i'm sure yeah she was she was, was news, right yeah i mean i heard ever... that i heard like she's basically like living in like she's like I, I mean i don't know what the fuck she's doing because obviously she's like one of the most hated people in america right now yeah, yeah. So, OJ Simpson getting remarried. Could you befriend you know her crazy? and have her on my show? Just that I, I, you would think I would like. I actually, I don't like her. I'm not a fan. It's like, don't kill the baby. Like, what did the baby do? Like, ex boyfriend, I totally went up and on board. Like, if she had murdered and eviscerated an ex, my girl. Right, right. I would have sent her money for the commissary. But like a baby, like unnecessary. Like the now whole you know that like, now Casey's not in jail. Uh, there is suspicion that she couldn't have done it. You know. Is that, is that the case? Do you yeah, it? couldn't have. Couldn't yeah. have. A jury didn't uh, co didn't uh, convict her of well, a no, crime you know at all. Didn't. And I always say this with, no, and I always say this with, like, trials and shit, is that, like, I'm, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but I, it's, like, the way the law is interpreted, we have a system of, like, guilty until proven, or innocent until proven guilty. Right. So the problem is with these cases, they get so media sensationalized. And then when they finally arrest somebody and want to press charges, they always go for like the highest charge, the one that's going to carry the most like of a sentence. The hardest and one to try, too. they went for first degree murder. Right. Well, they went for first degree murder. And the problem was, is that when they found the baby, like when they found the corpse of the baby, it was so um, decomposed. Uh -huh. They couldn't figure out when she died or how she died. So ah, you don't so know those two things. More. So you couldn't, more. Get, you yeah. couldn't get pre premeditation on it. Correct? Well, well, how, exactly, because if you don't know how or when somebody died, how can you put someone at the scene of the crime when you don't right. know when, how it happened or anything like that, let right. alone prove somebody had been planning it. And I remember when that came on TV and they were like, oh yeah, and right, I yeah, was like, sure. and I remember saying to somebody, I was like, she's going to get off. And she got off all right. She already got off on killing her child. Hey. Well, yeah. And but, so there's a crime against being a wicked cunt. There's really nothing to like charge her with. Yeah. Well, that, that was the thing. That, so they couldn't charge her with that. But I remember like all these idiots. You'd were, like, be charged first. What? Nothing. I've yeah. never been charged with anything. You've never been to jail. Well, you. I've been to jail. Yeah. What'd you do? Um, I. I was so fucking stupid. I got. Oh my you god. Drunk. Uh, when I was like drunk? 21, I got, um, no, I was two weeks before my 21st birthday. I got in trouble for underage drinking and I basically just yeah. got like thrown into jail. Now, like now, they you didn't even like process me. And then someone came and bailed me out and they were like, all right, you're fine. Did you yell at the police officers? Yeah. You screamed at I them. I had butted you? one of them. Nice. Oh, Class. I was, I was wasted. Yeah. But you still didn't get processed even after headbutting. You got lucky. That must've been in Florida, huh? Uh, no. So what do you guys have, like a lake house? Like, what are you doing? This is, uh, Please don't this, say is an, this is an Aunt Mead, uh, compound here. Yes, we have a, uh, there's a whole compound. We're down by the lake. Now, what, and, what is the uh, uh, occasion that you guys are there for? Mancation. This is our Ooh. 11th year. Yeah, this is our game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex, this is what happens. This is what happens man when you when, when there's nothing to live for. You make things called mancation. You look forward to it most of the rest of the year. And then, uh, that's I feel it. Honored I got invited to the mancation. Mancation. Yes. So did you what guys like fucking... adopt Be Larry Bea or why he's not allowed in the lake because he doesn't swim or what, what is it? He's, he's always got, he's, like, he's got like twenty Instagram lives to to get. Yeah, it's also it. New Hampshire, so everybody would get really confused if they saw somebody with melanin. <laughs> Yeah. No, they'd just be like, "Oh shit, we forgot one," because the Underground Railroad did go up that far. Holy shit! I do really? like to throw. I, <laughs> I like to throw a wrench in the operation every once in a while and bring one of my black friends up to New Hampshire for for uh, vacation. That's How many always do you fun. have? I don't know. We're going at a strong two right now. That's, that's, that's too too many. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Starting it off now. No fire. Yes. Yes. Alex I'm just kidding. No one. One is fine. We had to move off of the uh, boat because it actually did start. I know. I saw that. You, there was a thunderhead uh, real close to you guys right before the show. Yes, just fucking hit me with lightning at this point. Now, Ski Mask, where, where are you doing this from? Clearly the middle of Times Square, right? Yeah, I'm in Times Square. It's dead as fuck right now, obviously. Uh, nothing. Oh, my broken. God. Are you Carson Daly? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? You want to come on my real show? Yeah. All right. This is the real show. real show. Talent. No, I got fucking, I got canceled. I had to put on the mask to keep it going. I would fucking love if, like, because you know how all these, like, late night hosts are doing, um... Hacky shit? 
well, obviously hacky shit. They've been doing hacky shit. But I would fucking love if one of them gets caught with a hot mic and says something like super fucking offensive. Like if it's like Jimmy Fallon and he, yeah. you know, he's like crying over this and that. And then all of a sudden Jimmy Fallon's just like screaming nigger. I would know. <laughs> I would, I would love it if <laughs> like, it I, there it is. Mark there the it time. is. Jamie, Jamie, Woo! mark the time. Yes. Jamie, uh, mark the time. Yep, Take got it. It. I didn't say I was got quoting it. Jimmy Fallon. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now. Uh, my yeah, favorite part is the apologies from these guys. I would love if one of the late night uh, talk show hosts came back like a week after an apology, be like, you know what? Fuck that. I don't apologize. They told me to say that. You know, I, I don't. I don't give a shit. I said it twenty years ago. That's not a real apology. That's what I want to see because that's. Shit. I think honestly, if I ever, which like I'm not. I don't want to get famous. I don't want it. That's fine. But like, I feel like if I ever did, like first of all, they would have to delete the entire internet. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just, no mas. But second of all, like, I feel like if anyone was ever like, oh, yeah, I'm like, apologize for something I said, because I feel like now we're in this really weird, weird place as a society where it's like, are people not allowed to like grow and change? Also? Right, right. So like, nope. everything, like, if you read like, like the, you know, woke Twitter or whatever, everyone's like, oh, we're gonna help them grow from this. And they're gonna learn and they're gonna be like this. But then it's like, nobody's allowed to apologize for something they did in the past. So like, no. uh, you have to repent and be cleansed in the blood of the evangelical lefties. You must wash the feet of the evangelicals. Cleansed in the, cleansed in the blood of Don Lemon. Yes. Well, I was ableist, assuming that they all have feet. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, they don't. They're in a chair, so you must bow <laughs> yeah, because they're lower able. than you. It's like, I feel like that, that whole, like, group of the, like, the woke Twitter is, like, just, like, a bunch of, like, Jimmy and Timmy's from South Park, like, speaking into their phone and, like, tweet this. <laughs> It is. Uh, it's all Stephen Hawking from Beyond the Grave. Yeah, he yeah. Brought his computer with him, and like a part of his body is still alive. <laughs> is Stephen Hawking's? Wait, hold on. I'm. I'm gonna move inside because my roommate's home. And, oh my! Every, um, I need to get a studio on the go too. Could you imagine, like, if? Wait, is Stephen Hawking's dead? I. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Is he? Yeah, maybe like a year or two now, huh? Well, we don't want to put on put out any fake news. He probably is. Yeah. I mean, he was. Was he re ever really alive? Is the question. No, I don't. I don't. That movie? No, no. There's no way. Yeah, like now the fans are gonna love this shot. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, you're um, good. Yeah. No, you're good. I mean, the fans are gonna love it. To get, you know, it's gonna be the highest, highest yeah. Jesus, Alex. Uh, Holy shit! Highest view show. Oh, God. There's Jim Stansel again. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Get all uh, unbothered here. Yeah. Get those Florida tits back on the screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Get those sunburned things out. Now, the thing. I'm actually not. I don't feel like I'm out summer, and I think I just have like bad lighting right now. Did those uh, get bigger when you moved down there? Like going back home, like a mother, like a mother goes back to its nest, and like there it's, are some, uh, there are some amazing doctors over there in the Florida area. <laughs> Good lord, Alex. Yeah, yes. Jesus. No, I think it's just, I think it's just the sports bra because I'm wearing like a yoga top. No. Top, and I feel like they're just like. Uh, oh. You know. Anyway, you take some credit. You take some credit, you. Yes. It's all those goddamn uh, like. Uh, they do uh, like cross it, cross yeah, it's all those it's all those farmers markets are just popping up all over the place. What are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> Healthy Wait. vegetables and yes. uh, smoking flocka. Yeah. Can we just have? Can we just cover this? We don't do that cover. either. It wasn't covered that. Um, me and Matt have probably no business being. What is Matt? I have no idea. Me and Aunt Me have no business being on a broadcast. God bless Pinky for holding this one down. Yeah. We were in quite a state of life even though it's only six o'clock i don't know jim we've had previous God shows out, that you've been this. a lot a lot more uh I intoxicated on i think you guys seem well, fine we also took acid oh great days. great good now i How's like that this going for you this is a great lighting yeah, setup you guys have actually you guys got like i like end, it though. back end we're in the back nine. Oh, so you've huh. been doing you've been on it all night how was your trip yeah, it's not even night yet Oh yeah, I don't. I, I don't know why the fuck I keep thinking you guys are in Alaska. <laughs> it's like the Christ. second time. <laughs> but even I'm not now. very good at geology, but I don't feel like New Hampshire and Alaska are close together. It would be uh, geography. <laughs> that wouldn't be geology either. Yeah, I'm yeah. not good at that either. Geology <laughs> is like uh, rocks, like uh, you know, big oh, rocks, God. volcanic acid. Uh, geography would be like location of states. Yeah, now, like Montpelier is the capital of Vermont. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, Alex, the, most of these porn industry uh, makers have relocated to Miami from Los Angeles. Is this, uh, is, this, is this something that made you move down to Florida? It's a fan question. I don't know. I live, <laughs> I live in 
Orlando. So now no. there's uh like you know when, whenever the Disney princesses don't make it and they turn eighteen, they move to Miami. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm a little bit past eighteen, just barely. Oh. Um. You tell. Yes. Go on. I have, a, I have a movie called Thawed. Thawed. <laughs> I get it. That's multi-layered. Like frozen, but okay, you're funny. Uh, no, I, uh, I did. No, I think a lot of actually. No fun fact about that. They actually do produce a lot of porn out of Orlando. Um. Yeah. And I know, How do you know, and I know this because when I lived down here before, like, because I like I lived in or I lived in Orlando from. 2000. When did I finish college? 2011 to 2013. I was I moved back to Florida after I finished school. And I um, remember talking to someone that I was bartending with and they were like, oh yeah, they produce like a lot of porn out of Orlando. And it really is a lot of the kids that come down for the Disney college yeah, program. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and also too, because like Orlando's cheap. So like, I can't imagine it would be expensive to like rent like one of the like high rises here. Right. And yeah. And so, throw kid dick at it. Throw a dick around. Have you uh, uh have you have you hung out at the Pulse nightclub at all? Is it popping over there? Uh well nothing's uh, popping because the state that was funny. Um because the state shut down. Um I have not been to Pulse in since oh. since I lived here, so it would have been 2013 before people got shot. Right, right. Is there, not, is there nothing going on in Florida right now? Like yeah, it has uh, to be. I mean, there's stuff stuff in Texas is going on. I mean, nobody... No, it's weird. It's it's weird right now because like there's like Florida as a whole, which is what I love about the state. It is it's a whole, country. all right. But it um, I I love Florida, but I feel like Florida like at first was like mm, fuck this virus, we're not going to deal with it, and then the numbers have been surging. So like they've shut down bars, uh -huh. but restaurants that are pr pretty much bars are still open, and they're yeah. not doing the dork rule where like you have to be ordering food to get drinks. Like they will let you just go and drink. Right, right. There's um, a bar here in my town. Well, like that beats they're able to get away with it because they actually make enough money from the pool tables and the jukebox to cover instead yeah, of, so you, you uh, just yeah. can't make more of your profits from booze. Right. Yeah, yeah exactly. So the, 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 they just got people like lined up at the pool tables, just throwing quarters in there all night. And as long as people are playing pool, the bar can serve. It's exactly. Fantastic. So yeah. And that's like, that's like the weird, like, but Florida will always find a loophole around everything. So like stuff is kind of shut down. Like I live, in um it's called lake eola which is like the downtown part of orlando uh -huh. and um there's a lot of like bars and it's cute it's like i mean it's a little downtown area like whatever but um a lot of like those just like strictly bars bars are shut down but like, a lot of the kilt? Rest what you got a tilted kilt in downtown over there i think there's one on international drive knew it every every city in every city in florida has a tilted kilt it's the greatest they keep I all the good look here on the bottom shelf is it great is it the greatest though I mean, I, when I drank there, I had a blast until some guy almost fought me. <laughs> that sounds pretty much like Florida. I was wearing uh, the wrong outfit. Yeah. His wings were oversauced. You uh, weren't supposed to wear the kill. You know that, right? Yeah, but I, I was trying to show out. I just picked it up at the farmer's market on the way, and I was like, well, I guess this is what people in Florida do. And uh, he, he just said I was a little light in the loafers. I told him no, and then he wanted to fight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, Disney World is closed, right, Alex? I'm no, sure. No, it reopened. What? Oh, it reopened. Who's All going? Right. That's literally the only source of, in, of like, income in Orlando, no? They got porn. Porn? Porn. Uh, don't forget about Universal Studios. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. how much that helps local business. No, Orlando's porn. weird because it's very um, – Granted, it is, you know, Disney and, and Universal is the main source of income, but there's, then there's also, like, because there's a major airport there because of the tourists. Right. So there's a lot of, like, conventions and, like, business conventions and shit that happen, too, um, in Orlando. But, like, all that's obviously done. But, yeah, they reopened the parks, which, to me, I'm like, why are you going to Disney right now? There's a fucking, like, pandemic going on, if there even is. Who knows? But, like... Oh. Um, uh oh! But, well, I'm not gonna go Visconti on you. Wow! Uh, well, no, I have so many weird feelings about this because I feel like it's like I don't. You if never you know think this believe. wasn't orchestrated in some form, I think you're it was absolutely wrong. I a thousand yeah. percent think it was orchestrated. Um, I feel like at least letting us know when they did. I feel like they either had information prior and were very strategic about when they released it, 
because they knew timeline wise, okay, if we release it now, this is going to fuck with the election. This is going to fuck with campaign trails. This is going to fuck with everything. It, oh yeah. Is it going to fuck with the election? You think Absolutely. daddy, you, you think daddy Trump is going to get taken down by, by Biden? I, I fear he might at this point. Are you, you do? Yeah. Are you guys going to vote? Uh, yes. I, I, I'm still not registered. No, I need to go do that. I registered to vote because they, they asked me, like, when I went and got my license and shit, they were like, do you want to register to vote? And I was like, I mean, I guess. Um, I'm never going to vote because I'm a woman and I don't believe I should. Um, nice. <laughs> unless, <laughs> well, unless I had a husband to tell me who to vote for, in which case I would, I would do that. Oh, but I don't God. have one yet. So. Yet. yet. It doesn't Any make sense. Board? What? Yeah, any uh, scooters on the board? I'll throw a fucking ring on you right now. Yeah, it would have to be a fat rock. I feel like she's looking for a fat rock. She's she's shopping around. I have a couple fat rocks. Hey, yeah. Uh. (laughs) Are you mining up in New Hampshire? Is that what you're doing, Stancil? (laughs) Yeah, it's good. Let's see that pickaxe. Uh, It's probably a pickaxe in this fucking. I'm sure. I'm sure. Big what are you guys in like a murder shelter? Which I'm fucking here for. I love yeah. murder shelter. Dude, no, is that a sailboat? My, uh, is that a sunfish this sailboat? Is my, uh, this is, this is, God, this is our lake shit. house. Our lake house that we never, ah. we never finished. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Cottage. I do have my like school project here. Yeah. Oh, it's is that a, a sick car? It's 65 Mustang. Don't worry. Yeah. Nice. I just bought a um a 2017 Ford Escape. That's nice. awesome. Did you pay for it with cash? Um, some of it. I put money down and then I finance the rest oh, of it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. gotcha. This is the view we have uh from the not yet finished uh cottage. It's basically two garages. Now, who are you got. is Stancil in the tent while everybody else is inside? Uh, right here. Nice, right here. I'm right here. We were just giving you a tour. No, I mean like yeah. who's sleeping in the tent outside? Oh, I don't know. We'll see how uh, we'll see how the acid takes us. Maybe two guys. I don't know. Oh, hey, hey! Well, call me if that happens. We'll put it up on a Patreon. Wait, so I have a question. I have a question. How did what? Kevin's beautiful boys start? Look at them. The beautiful well, I know. boys. They're beautiful. All right. So Santa, go. It started with I think it started with an old picture of me. Oh my God! Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yep. I think it started with an old picture of me when I was a young, strong buck and in shape. And um, I think Kevin just mentioned once on the show, it was a, oh, no, no, it started, what am I saying? It started with this kid. He's a beautiful boy. He's cute, and yeah. just got escalated from there. He is uh, cute. Fuck. Damn. I don't know. No, I always, I always see those pictures where you're like, Kevin's beautiful boys, and I'm like, okay. Um, I, uh... What was I gonna say to you? No, that's cool. I like I like New Hampshire. I like that part of New England a lot. Um, oh, everything's normal here, actually. Like besides the uh, the supermarket, everybody's kind of just doing the normal thing. I think it kind of wore off the the whole craze of everything. Also, they have a Republican governor, so that has a lot to do with it. Right. See, like that's what I feel like with Florida. Like, because DeSantis and and Daddy Trump are friends, which is great. Um. And I feel like right now, like with Florida, like we never went through like a massive like shutdown, everything's done. Like there was no like New York City mania where like everything's just, you know? So yep. it's weird to be like, oh, are things back to normal? Like in a way, no, because like even like, for example, like, I mean, I teach yoga, like the yoga studios, it's like, it's weird because class sizes are so limited because we still have to stay like six feet apart. They're shorter because you're not allowed to like, they're like saying like, you can't be within a certain room, even if it's exercise or stuff for more than a prolonged amount of time. Like there's all these weird stipulations. So it's like a new thing to adjust to, but there was, there was only like a very slight amount of time. Like I want to say less than a month where stuff was like fully, fully shut down, but also too, Florida was doing it county by county. So yeah. it wasn't, and like my mom lives over on the West coast. So like I went over to see her for a bit. Like I was there for like almost three months because like Orlando, oh. there was nothing happening. And I was like, well, it doesn't feel like anything's off except for like wear your mask to the grocery stores or something. Did you, did you film anything on the West Coast? <laughs> mm. up. Hey. Uh, just, but yeah, yeah, so I feel like that's, that's the thing too, is that like, there's no, 
like our like back to normal is basically when they're going to be like, Hey, you can just like take your mask off at the grocery store. And like, you can go to like the shitty bars that don't have kitchens or, you know, like stuff yeah. like that. Well, the only like, there's I, really got... no... I mean, um, you kind of want to be six feet away from anybody at yoga anyway, because that's when like most people fart. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be doing a big old stretch. The next thing you know, <laughs> boom. When I'm doing the warrior pose, it usually one squeaks out. Hmm. I would have thought it would have been like a downward position. Downward no, that's yours. Okay. okay. Warrior. <laughs> Can I see the uh, Can I see the warrior pose right now? I don't even know what that is. I want to see yeah, if you can. Warrior right next to us. <laughs> are, you, are you gonna demonstrate? Yeah, I want to see what some that, yoga moves. What What did that mean? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you um? What cigars? What cigars pose. do you guys smoke? Uh, I like La Polina Black Label. It's my favorite cigar. I'm actually smoking your boyfriend's cigar, Rocky Patel. Oh really? I like I like the My Fathers and the Mia Moors. <laughs> But my father's um, is pretty good. Well, no, if you guys want to message me after this, because, like, I don't know if you know this about Tampa, but it's literally called, like, Cigar City. Oh, you're in wow. Tampa? Um, no, but I go over there, like, once What's every it? other week, because that's oh, where do? my mom lives. Um, I'll mail you guys some if you want. Um, Word, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm actually going over there Monday to get my hair done, because my roots are coming in, and I, it's my hair is fucking jet black right now, so... Black. And I I can feel that uh, Ant Mead is getting close to proposing to you live on. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I yeah, Jim. Back, I have also been picking up on that. Used underwear. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. You heard him. You um, heard it here. I didn't know that. I don't know shit about cigars, but I know there's a lot of like really good places to buy them. And yeah. Wh what's uh? What's your like Mead? What do you say? Like your favorite shape of cigar would be? What? They come in like they come this, in different know, one shaped like a dick, maybe. Well, like no, those, no, no, no. There's one like the, the punch, you know, the short round ones. <laughs> the big round ones. Now, you do know that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what, what's, a, what's a cigar measurement? No, I have to actually I blame and thank Aaron Berg for getting us back into cigars because that was like a, an old, uh, yeah, old, an old, habit. old habit that uh, didn't die. Yeah. And uh, you rekindled the flame. Right. Yeah, I feel like and, Berg, like, oh, fuck. I feel like Berg love. I mean, Berg loves cigars, but I don't. I mean, I've never smoked one. I've never really had like the inclination to. Mm -hmm. Um. But I know, like I said, I know that's like Tampa's main thing is they're big on obviously cigars. Like I don't know if you've ever had the beer High Lie. It's all. It's an IPA. It's all over the place. No, but like it's from C Cigar City Brewing Company because that's the name of it because they're in Tampa and that's. Why do they do that? Is it because Cubans get caught in Miami, so they go a little bit further up north? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's named after a bunch of Cubans throwing orange. <laughs> no, it really is. is. No, <laughs> actually, like, the Bay, like, the Tampa Bay area, that's why they're, like, the Buccaneers and stuff like that. There's, like, an – that was actually, like, a more Spanish city for a while in Cuban-based yeah, yeah, yeah. than Miami was. Well, it's a lot – it was probably a lot easier to land going into a cove than it would be at, uh, at the point of a basin like Miami if there was a big storm to hit, so, you know. Yeah, I would – I mean, I would imagine. I don't know much about it. I know there's this really fun wow. thing called – Sorry, guys. I used to do shit like that. Sorry. Okay. I know there's a really fun thing called Gasparilla, which is like Whoa. a pirate Gaspar festival. Yeah. Um, and that's in Tampa. Could you get me in touch with a pirate? What kind? I think the, I think the best thing that's ever going to come out of this is that Coachella won't happen again. Thank fuck. Yeah. Where did they even host that at? It's in, it's in California. It's in like the desert. You know what's crazy though with Coachella is like I really, really looked into going because Rage what? was supposed to be playing. Oh, oh, I was oh, only going to go. I was only thinking about going because fucking Tom York was there. And that was the absolute only reason. Stan, so like, you I just ever had considered this, like, going? Moment where, well, because for me, like with music and stuff like that, like I was like, okay, one of the bands that I'm always going to regret never being able to see live is Rage Against the Machine. Oh. Yeah, and, well, Rage Against, Rage Against the Machine is now the machine. Yeah, well, right, exactly, because they're they were going to fucking play Coachella and they're super corporate. But when they oh, when they announced that they were reuniting and shit like that, and then they were going to play Coachella, I was like, I would go, but I don't want to be around other people at Coachella. Yeah, no chance. No chance. Right. But I thought about going with my friend Michelle. We were going to go out to Los Cruces in New Mexico because they were going to do a show um, before Coachella there. That's a fun place. Just I've showing up to Coachella, you give a blowjob and a porta potty. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Part of the ticket. Oh mm -hmm. God, I don't want to go back to high school. You did that? Whoa. In <laughs> Me a neither. Never in a porta potty. No, I was kidding. Never in a porta potty. I I banged in a porta potty. My brother banged in a porta potty. I banged hilarious. in a porta potty at Warp Tour at uh, Oh my God. At Randall's Island once. What band was playing? 
probably taking back Sunday. What's up? Oh. Your lipstick is color, don't bother. <laughs> it was little devotional. Oh. <laughs> I said you're gonna have yourself. I fucking used to love that man. Like that was my when I was in yeah, obviously like, I think when we were all in high school and shit, but that was my like I love taking back Sunday and all that. Mm -hmm. I used to get a warped. Um, Absolutely. What'd you say? Still do yeah. <laughs> I went to the last one. I actually did go to the last one uh at uh where the fuck was it? Jones Beach. Okay. Or not Jones Beach. It was at, yeah, it was at Jones Beach last year or two years ago. I did go to the last one. Had to go. It's the most depressing fucking scene if you're not 18 years old. Really? See, that's why I don't want to go around. to music festivals anymore because it's like, it's very depressing if you're not of like the music festival <laughs> fun age. And like, I started going to Warp Tour when I was 15. Well, they and, don't like, sell booze at fucking yeah. Warp Tour. That's right. why I don't go to a lot of places. I went to Riot Fest in 2015 and- uh, Out in Chicago? No, Riot I went to the Chicago. one in Denver. I went to Denver. Oh, okay. And the beers were eleven dollars a piece, so I had to go in debt just to try to get drunk. And uh, it was hot, like you say, it was fucking depressing. Just a bunch of tight pants See, walking around, guys. And it's also like it was fun to do when you're in high school because it's like obviously you can't buy booze anyway, and you just want to go see. Music oh yeah, you can. Like, I mean, yeah, but like you know, like it's not like you're concerned with like buying booze at the venue because. So, but I feel like going now it's depressing. Like, let me tell you, I went to go see. 50 cents. The U's. That was the last live show I went to. Um, no, those fucking communists. Commies. I, I like them. They have swastika tattoos. Yeah, I liked them before fucking Burt McCracken had a hammer and sickle shirt in the last <laughs> fucking tour. That I mean, sad. you know what? Honestly, I think at this point, like, you have to separate. I could take it all with a grain of salt. I do. because You have to because stupid. it's just, the, the part of, like, the problem is, is that, like, I think if we just aligned ourselves with people that we like believe with ideologically, like, well, that's the problem is they do. So you have to not do that. Yeah. Right, you have to not do that. But they, I mean, that, obviously the left is like, Oh, this person like said that they, I don't know, like, yeah, something that's not like completely woke. So like, let's cancel them. Let's do this. But like, I'm not, I just feel like it's really hypocritical for me to be like, I hate cancel culture and then be like, Oh, I'm canceling them because they don't agree with me on everything. Yeah. And like I no, said, I, I don't vote. I don't vote, so like I can't be mad about the way somebody's voting. So, um, the last good to, show, the last good concert I was at was Run the Jewels. Oh no, it was Ooh. Run the Jewels, and then I saw Under Oath play their entire first album. Oh shit! Like all the way through at uh, was it PlayStation Theater? Now it used to be something else in the city, and it was to the T. Like literally listening to the album. And it was fucking phenomenal. And that was good. See, that is awesome. I saw, um, like I said, the last live show I went to was um, The Used. Mm. And it was fun. But what I was saying about being old and stuff like that, like, I went with a couple girlfriends. And, like, we had a great time. We're all, like, you know, this in our 20s-ish. Oh. And um, <laughs> it was, like, it was fun. But then we're, like, looking around. And we were, like, oh, like, this is an old person concert. The yeah. <laughs> no, like, it was it was all dying like emo people. Like, well, like compared to like what? Like, I remember going to see shows when I was in high school, and it was like you know everyone's like kind of like teens or like early twenties at the you know at like their latest. Like, when the guys we were, were fuckable, shows. and now when you went back, you're looking around, you're like, oh my god, like there's nothing, uh, there's no heart, there's no soul. No, but I just remember. Yeah. No, it wasn't that there wasn't any heart and soul, but I was like, oh my god, are we old? <laughs> Yeah, like, no, it was are, old. Every I went we, to uh, I went to uh, brand new at Forest Hills before they like stopped doing live shows. I like them a lot. Everybody had like everybody was using Rogaine there. It was not. It was very depressing. Well, I didn't have but that. It was didn't amazing. Have Time out low in the game. Tea. Yeah, low T should be a song. Time out in the game. I have to pee, and I'm gonna grab another white claw. I will be right back. Shot, will you That's shotgun what, uh, a white claw? Okay. All right. Dope. Grab me, yeah. Grab me whatever your phone. <laughs> Matt, are you interested? Are you uh, are you doubly interested in this interview? Oh, she's she is every girl that I've ever dated in one person. Really? And it, that ended horribly. So of course I am. Yes. Yeah, I like it. She's like the opposite of the girls I date. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. Look at you guys, man. What happened to real fucking beer? I don't drink beer anymore. I quit it's drinking and everybody went 
gay. It gives you breasts. Nope. No, they, they started putting estrogen in beer because they're trying to turn men gay. No, that's it. No, nope, done with beer. Ever since, uh, if you drink an IPA, I'll own it. I thought you were drinking an IPA. The IPAs to make it's the made with water. Gay. It's got fluoride in it. They're making the soy males gay. I haven't heard back from Alex Jones. You guys, uh, you guys need to help me out. If you have any connections to uh, how we can get in touch with Alex Jones, we need to get him on this program ASAP. There's no reason he shouldn't do the show. I'm located in Texas. He's no, he in Texas. would absolutely do the show. That's him to call I, I just need to figure out an email, something to get a hold of him because I. I'll, I okay. Yeah, figure it I out. Will do something I never do and text someone I. I don't usually talk to, which That's is fine. Anthony Cumbia, and Go maybe ahead. try to get his month his uh, his info. Yeah, when uh, that's yeah, big, that's a that's a big thing. That's a big thing on a show Ooh, to say. Big thing. <laughs> big <laughs> names. I won't. We can cut that out. So cut that part Who's out. Name? Huh? Who's now, Alex, name? Uh, we're, try, we're trying to actually get out Alex Jones to do uh, the the Frogs. collective. Yes. Well, mm. my question is like. What is this show? <laughs> you don't, you don't, you the didn't research the show. It's always just a matter of time till it comes she up. She turned it around on the host. What are she we didn't doing? Take, all right. So the show is like a Misery Loves Company wrap up show, or at least it was, Where still is truly? a bit. They drink Trulies on the show. Uh, I brought these guys on board, what, uh, what did we say, three weeks ago or so? Yeah, I have a white claw here. Do you want to cheers? Yeah, because we're no. functioning degenerates. Cheers. Yay. We're unsavory Go characters. Go ahead, Pinky. So it's a show about MLC, though. Go ahead. It was a show about MLC. Still is somewhat, but uh, we're ahead. laying low. All right. We're playing yeah, our respects. Ask, ask is Kevin. The common yes. thread, I'd say. Right. Wait, why do, you, why do you have to lay low? Is Kevin We don't have here? to lay low. We're laying low because he's laying low. We know how to play the game. We All do right? it our fearless leader says yes yeah. I, thought, our fearless I, thought leader. Kevin, I don't i don't think he's mad at me but i thought he was because like i haven't talked to him in a little while he's uh, mad at everybody that's literally what every person ever has said about kevin <laughs> yeah what? that's just kevin. Oh, shit. sorry that was like all down on my tits sorry that's all um, that's good now yeah, put it back fans give this one a good rating i love kevin I, let me tell you i had so much fun doing mlc and i was so nervous the first i was, was so nervous <laughs> the first time I did it, because I thought it was going to be like some ambush or something. You thought you were going to get yelled at? I don't care about getting yelled at. Oh. But like. He doesn't, um, go, he doesn't go into ambush anybody, really. At no. All. No, but I, I didn't. Well, I didn't know like what. Because the same thing was, is I had, I did mourning prior to going over there. Uh-huh. And um, I was talking to Bill, because like we went and had a drink Sports? after morning. Right. And then I had to go uptown to do MLC. And this was like right after the whole fucking like Kellyanne debac like debacle happened. And um, I was like, I don't, I didn't know if like, I was like gonna get ambushed or like, it was like, oh, she like Kerrigan, not Kerrigan, what the fuck is her name? Kensington, whatever the fucking ugly bitch's name is. Hell like, yeah. gonna, Kel whatever, is gonna show up too. And like, I was just so like, uh. And then also like, I mean, I, I don't, I like, I'm not getting involved between him and Bill because I fucking love Bill Schultz and I love Kevin Brennan. Me and too. I really want to play Switzerland on this one because they've both been so good to me in terms of like, I, and I don't, I, I understand that people, like people can have issues with each other and like, fuck, fuck me. Like I love to have a, like have a fight with somebody. Hell yeah. But I What's just, like I said, I didn't know what I was walking into when I walked into the first MLC and like, he was just so cool. And he's like, we're just going to talk. And I was yeah. like, all right. And it was great. And then um, when he had me back like a week later, it was so funny because then he's like, um, he was like, oh, you want to come back and do it? And it was like, okay, awesome. And it was really cool. But then like, I haven't really talked to him much since because I kind of told him, I was like, hey, I can like, um, I was like, I can like Skype into the show or whatever. And then I haven't heard from him, but he, um, I like Kevin. I just didn't want him to be mad at me. I'm going to do dishes because um, Amazing, because you're in Amazing. Florida. Amazing. You're in Florida, and what did you say earlier? Um, How many methamphetamines have you taken today? Yes. How many what? Adderall. Methamphetamines. Uh, one. Yeah. What milligram? A thirty, right? You just pop that big oval. Not nah, what? Wow, Ten. that's what wow. I got. Wow. Well, no, listen. So I'm I'm back in school. I got you. So you're studying. You're writing books. Well, you're not in <laughs> school. 
well, I'm taking, I'm digital. I mean, and I, it's like final mm -hmm. season. So I was like, what do we this? study? What are you studying? Yeah. Uh, Nursing, please tell me you're going to be a nurse because uh, that'll complete my trifecta. No, no, no. She's going to be a school I'll, teacher. Wait a second. A portal to hell will open up if you Hold become on, a nurse. Pause, pause Don't say bad time. words. What? Imagine being her and looking at the screen. And there's like, imagine she's like, I wonder who she's talking to. This is a guy in a ski mask. <laughs> yeah, look at the screen. <laughs> yeah, like she's looking at the screen like, what is my mom doing? <laughs> What's your roommate's name? Your, your mom? Kidding, mom. <laughs> Wait, is Alex the kid? I don't know. This no, that's my roommate, Megan. Oh, oh. What up, where's Megan? Get her in here. Yeah, that oh, looked like a kid. Say hi. Wait, Megan, come say hi. This is her roommate, Megan. Oh my God, what a weird <laughs> angle. I thought that was a child this whole time. She's really short. I'm She's sorry. She's really short. I know that. Like, here, that. look. Wait, oh, let yeah. me see. Megan's hot. Let me see us standing next to each other. Look, we got a 5 2 right here. Wow, Megan's hot. All right, uh, boys, you guys want to take a trip to Florida? Look at See? Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Yeah. No, Megan hey, and I cheered together in college. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what, drank? At the same time? We were cheerleaders <laughs> together. Oh. Did you have the pom-pom? Um, competitive. Right, Alex? Competitive you say? cheerleading, not that bullshit. I said yeah, that not competitive that. cheerleading, not that bullshit. South Florida yeah. community college? Oh, no. No. Um, the mud we, dogs? Um, What's going on? What, what? The mud dogs. The mud dogs. Um, no, the, the mascot for the Florida community college is obviously the convicts. Um, uh, yeah. The escapees. No, the Orlando, we together, um, magic. We the Orlando, the Orlando magic. The Orlando <laughs> magically <laughs> missed this felony charge. Um, <laughs> no, they um, we cheered together in college, but so like I said, the bars aren't really doing whatever. But she went to this place, World of Beer. Oh, I picked, used to love that place. Right, place and she. Sucked. Picked, well, it does fucking up. suck. Did she, buy, did she buy the KKK beer that the guy got? No, I brew that one. Oh. Oh, where's your outfit? You said you were going to wear it in a show. Oh, I, said today that, I said today that Alex is the female Daniel Carver. <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, she said she, she had prepared an outfit for the show. Uh, also, never recant a joke that you made. Who made it? You made it? Is this the first? Pinky, is this the first somebody that made an outfit just to wear for the show? I think so. Yeah. She was talking besides last night. Him, beside, besides Pinky himself. Yes. Now, I don't know if this is an outfit. I wear this all the time. It's, uh, it's a little wild. You guys know this. We talked before the show with the mask. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Now, you... <laughs> God, dang. Oh, there's a pillow with ash on it. Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was uh, a pillowcase. Um, no, I was I was thinking about. You gotta like, add a little out. bit more starch. Well, no, I just <laughs> ordered a new um, duvet cover because that's like my duvet cover that I have right now. It's white and it has the white shams. And I was really thinking about because I'm waiting for my other one to come in, and I was really thinking about cutting holes in it and wearing it today. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Yeah, just leave it to the moths. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they'll, um, they'll do the work for you. But no, I um. I cheered with Megan in college, my first go round, I guess, in college. But yeah, no, I'm back in school. But oddly enough, I did think I wanted to be a teacher. Yeah, I could see that. No, I could that, see you. Make, that would make perfect sense. I could see you holding a ruler. And, I uh, could see you fucking a kid. Yeah, yeah, Matt beat it, me to it. I was going to ease that, in. You know what's he so got, annoying is that I might go like, back to school. Yeah, I need to study. I failed the third grade, matter of fact. No, but you know what's so annoying is that is like everyone's go-to. I feel like when they see like, when like they hear a hot chick that like is gonna teach, they're like, "Oh, you're gonna like fuck the students." It's well, like, what do you get? I mean, you get to be a hot plumber. <laughs> yeah, but like that's not everyone's prerogative. Like I haven't fucked a, like a high schooler since I was in middle school, so like why would I start doing that now? Yeah. Um, but what if you're around them every day and I one like one since I was uh, twenty-five? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what but if you like? So Go Megan's ahead. a teacher. Uh -huh. Um. Now. My roommate. Now speaking of when they she, went to uh, distance, when they went to distance learning and stuff like that, she teaches middle school science. Distance learning. <laughs> Thank and, you. Um, I almost just yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> but um, when they went to distance learning and everything like that, uh -huh. I literally listened to like all of her, 
You can't um, keep saying distance learning. I'm going to blow a gasket. Yeah, stop oh. showing your tits also. I'm going to go fucking um, smack one off. You guys all right? You got, is that what the tits for? Just say she's working from home. Hold on just a second. Say just say she's teaching. My sister's a teacher. I can Ooh, say Ooh, we got some horny, beautiful buzz. Uh-oh. Get her in here. Sorry. Get yeah, get Megan on the horn. What the fuck? Oh, it's the police. Well, well, teachers don't exist. Are the cops there? You can't do don't. Is what yeah. they say. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that one. Spaghetti straps now. Wow. Yeah, Jim, you show that chest <laughs> off just a bit. <laughs> <What> <laughs> Nothing. I mean, it looks like a a biker tank. God, what's going on here? God forgive me. Did she mute herself? Yeah. Oh, you're muted, Alex. You yeah. Muted yourself. Yes, we don't know where we're going right now. We could be heading Walking into the back bedroom. Now, that's now, now, there could be a lot of dominatrix right. going on back here. Oh, wait. Are we back? Uh, oh, hey. But I, um, no, when, when Megan was doing, like, the teaching from home stuff, I was like, oh, God, I was listening to her at work every, at work every day. Uh-huh. And um, at, I was just like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to do this. I have no desire to ever... She Ever was doing teach. the online teaching, though, right? Yeah. Now, what if you're teaching a class, right? Like, uh, let's say 10th grade. Dude walks in. He just got done playing basketball. And uh, his basketball shorts Paul are Hayes bouncing around sports. a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe he's from Polynesia. You never know. Yes. Uh, maybe could he's from nice the Congo. Pacific Islander, you know. He could be from the Congo. Average nine inches. You're just feeling you're extra wet that day. Right. Right. So say you spill your coffee on the way to work, right? And then uh, it's slowly over time. I, I'm done. I mean, I'm not. I, I can't. Are you texting Zeno Biscotti? Oh, I was just texting I him. Uh, no, I, I, well, if I was going to teach anything, I was going to teach phys ed. <laughs> phys, phys ed. <laughs> because one, how is that a job? Right. 100%. Yeah. How is English a job? Well, um, but the thing is with, um, with phys ed, cause like I teach yoga, I used to coach gymnastics, like all that stuff. Like I like doing, like, I like teaching that. So I was like, oh, that could be fun. Um, but I just was like, yeah, I, I don't want to like, after listening to everything that she was dealing with and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to, I'm going back. I want to, I'm going to get my master's and then eventually like, I'd like to be able to teach at the college level. Uh huh. Yeah, that that's makes sense. The, yeah, the, 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 you're right, right. They're of age, big that's hogs. That's when you can fuck the kid. That's right. really my main driving force. Is like that's when you can fuck the student. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, like, year, eight years from now, you'll be doing that. Hopefully sooner. Probably. Like I said, there's great uh, doctors like in Florida. Two years. Uh huh. Great surgeons in Florida. Um, because then I can start um, doing that, and then like I don't know, because like. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I want to be when I grow up, but nobody I, uh, knows what they want to be now. It's a different world. It's a different. It place. is. It yes. Exists anymore. The world as we know it doesn't fucking exist. Yeah, I want to you know sit what? in a garage and talk on a thing. I want to talk. I want to do. I want to talk to him in a ski mask in a garage. Yes. You know yeah. What's we have crazy a blast. though is that like I I really realized during this like because I've always been like I I always have done like a million fucking things like I you know, I like I write I. Write, bartend i teach yoga like i've always done like a million different things and then this fucking like pandemic shit hit and i was like holy shit all of these like skills that i've had are completely like just useless right in the real world and i was like this would have been the time to be married with babies and just be like my purpose now is to be a mother who does distance learning with her children correct correct now you could <laughs> learn like you could you could learn carpentry and, uh, you know, hands-on skills. I'll make that happen in nine months, Alex. Right. Carpentry or the baby? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. We'll start with the carpentry. Now, here's what's going to happen. Mead's going to come over there. He's going to show you how to fix those blinds behind you. And then he's going to let you <laughs> fool with him for a minute. And while you got your back turned, nine months later, pop! Yeah, right. homeschooling. Homeschooling. Homeschool. Um, I mean, you already got a teacher living there. It's perfect. I love the way it works. Yeah, no, I think, um, yeah, no, I, like, you're right. Like, the world, the world does not exist as we know it. And, like, it's, or as we did know it. So, who knows what even, like, fucking skills are transferable or. None. None. Uh, welding. Yeah, welding. Porn's still being filmed. 
Is it though? Because how yeah. do you keep a six foot distance in film porn? You don't. You get tested before you go get fucked. That's what I, that's what the porn star on the show said the other day. I don't know. Thank you. Did you, you get tested? Alex, have you gotten tested yet? Have you done the COVID fucking my, like put a, yeah. a Q tip in your brain test? No. My neighbor I did. Don't. He's positive. My neighbor's positive. My brother just got tested after we got back from Mexico and uh, he passed. <laughs> <laughs> he passed yeah. away. Or he he passed positive, the test? No, he passed the test, and I, which I was laughing at because we we went to Mexico walking through busy airports and shit. And if he would have had it, I would have had it. But and then the, my neighbor, he went. You know, when it all broke down, he went and stayed at one place and didn't fucking leave. And then the one day he left, he got it. <laughs> I just I don't understand. I still don't get like what it is or like what's transferring on it and what like. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think the, you sneeze for flu. a day or two. It's the flu. It's a different I, flu. Yeah. You know what's funny though is like I do want to get the antibodies test because I feel like so back in would have been 80s? November. Oh, November. I um I had like this absolutely like just this wicked bad cough. Right. And I like felt like shit. I was so sick for like weeks and it just would not stop. And I was still getting up and like going and teaching yoga in the mornings, and then going to bar attend at night and like still going about my life, but I just like felt like hell and then my days off i would pretty much just like lay in bed and like try to recoup right right well, you, did and you... i wasn't really like doing anything like treating myself like i was really sick but i was still just like holy like i don't feel well i have this awful cough like yeah. i would wake up and be like short of breath so oh. i just like got a humidifier and was like taking nyquil and like all this bullshit and then finally one of my bosses was like i really think you need to go to the doctor because and this was like i think november was, they told like, you to you quit need... smoking no oh. uh well yeah but they were like you need to go to the doctor because like this cough has been lasting forever and it's not just like a change of season like allergy thing and i was like all right fine tuberculosis um typhoid fever oh shit can yeah. you imagine if i died of typhoid that would be metal as hell yeah that would that would be, and nobody's died from that since the fucking oregon trail could you imagine no that was dysentery babe oh, oh wow. so you're a typhoid. history teacher um <laughs> but i uh uh-huh. So anyway, I went I went to City MD, whatever, and they were like, Yeah, you have a really bad upper respiratory infection. And I was like, eh. Classic. I so love those are classic. Just like, you know, get the an right. So it was just like get the antibiotics, do this, whatever. And like now I'm wondering back, I'm like, did I have like fucking COVID or like am I gonna have the antibodies if I get a test? Right. Well Cause like I just I don't know. Like like I said, I don't even like I'm so over this fucking pandemic. I'm so over like um I, I mean, I think everyone is. I don't know anyone that's, like, into it. But yeah. it's also, it's so interesting, too, though, to see, like, the, the spectrum of people and, like, how they're treating this and how they're not. Because, like, there's always, the, like, of course, there's the people that are, like, deniers. And they're like, it's not real. I'm going out without a mask. I don't care. And it's, Hell like, yeah. great. Real motherfuckers. You know what? I, I agree. But also, at this point, I'm like, just wear the fucking mask so this can be over with. I right. got told to wear a mask for the first time today. It was at the post office. Everywhere else, you don't have to wear the mask. You're fine. Yeah, you were you weren't wearing one then. In Times Square? No, I'm in uh, Texas. <laughs> but no, I walked right in, and they were like, "You need to put on a mask." And I was like, "They All got right. mad at your ma your mouth hole." Yeah, I was like, "Fuckers!" Now I, you know I have to pull down the mask to lick the envelopes, but and then I'm gonna right. hand them to you. You know. <laughs> uh, well, like the weird thing too is like rest like with restaurants being open and shit. It's like. You can take off because I've been out to eat and I um Who'd you go with? Well, I went Man. with Megan a couple times. Oh, yeah. um, well, like this is a good example. So over Memorial Day weekend. Um Jimmy, you okay? I'm good. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> He's coming up acid right now. I know, I, I just I keep look I keep watching him. I love it. Memorial Day weekend. Everybody yeah, yeah. give him a break. Memorial Day. Um, but the yeah, after, over Memorial Day weekend, I my best friend Brendan, um, oh, he's um, my best friend in the world, and it just sucks we're not ever going to be able to spend eternity together because he's a sodomite, so he's going to burn in hell. Oh, um, God. yeah, damn. But he, um, but he came down from Florida, uh, from New York. Sorry, sure. he came down from New York, and uh, he and then my friend Brianna, she's been on in hot water with me before. She's on my Instagram and stuff like that. My friend Brianna uh, Moat, and like I retweet her a lot on Twitter and stuff. I don't know if you guys follow her. Send her a link. Um, she's cute. Look at my Twitter. Like she's on there. Um, we uh, but anyway, we were all we went down to St. Pete 
like St. Pete Beach in Florida. And Brendan was like, let's get, like the hotels were cheap as hell. Yeah. And he was like, let's get a room. And like, if worst case scenario, we can just like hang Dead and bugs. like go to the pool, go to the beach. Like we got a room like right on the beach and everything like that. Nobody was wearing masks. They had the tables in the rest in like in the restaurants, like in the hotel, because it was like a resort, like a beach resort. Right. Pushed like six feet apart. So if you wanted to sit down, you had to be like six feet from the other table. But like nobody it was it was just like, okay, like I guess stay six feet away from each other. But huh. and like at that point, but then it was funny because then there was some asshole. Like one night we came back from dinner and we were going me and Brianna were going to get in the elevator. And then this guy, like, there was a group of people waiting to get in the elevator. Two and people. This, what? Two people per elevator. Well, no, but this guy was alone, and he was like, sorry, guys, i got a family upstairs. I'm just trying to stay safe. And was he I wearing was like, a mask? No, of course what not. What an asshole. So I'm like, you don't get to be selective about, like, when you, like, adhere to the rules or not. And, like, it, I feel like this virus, this, like, virus uh -huh. has just, like, exacerbated the crazy and people that wanted to be entitled fucks it has. and wanted it to has. explain to people that they're like people that like want to be like oh it's the rules you have to do this it's just exacerbated it because like i'm never gonna be like like i feel like if i go into some place and i don't have a mask on i'm not gonna say something and be like uh you need to back up off of me because if i was that concerned about it i would put a mask on or i just wouldn't fucking be out to begin with yeah right. like, nobody's you forcing you out of your house nobody's like you're not at gunpoint forced to go exactly. out uh the, also, dude, you're, my landlord you're not is. at gunpoint to go <laughs> like have a holiday weekend in a, in a resort i i know <laughs> I, I went and had a nice holiday weekend at a resort and on the plane ride back this asshole right in the seat in front of me was explaining to the stewardess for about an hour how to properly wear the face mask and i and i had enough i asked him to please be quiet no <laughs> give me a fucking give me a parachute i'm out yeah, oh, no, fucking, don't even give me a parachute. I'm just out. Fuck them. I lost it on some bitch. This was, I was still over in St. Pete at my mom's and I, I, I run. And yeah, um, I bet. Yeah. like from my problems, from the law and just like for fun. Right. But I, um, fun for fun. But I, got fun as well. I, um, Sorry. I was, I was out for a run and I usually like go over because my mom doesn't live like on the beach, she, but she's like really, really close. Like it's a causeway away. So she's just like right across the causeway. Those where my mom lives. But I'm running, I ran across the causeway and I was like running on uh, Gulf Boulevard, which is St. Pete, whatever, it's the beach. And there's like this one area, there's always a bike lane. I hate those. There's, they have to like, limit. Which is oh, that's where the fags ride, right? Yeah, yeah this, they get sandwiches thrown at them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you wear spandex when you ride a bike, you should be murdered immediately. Or fair game if you're on the road. Yeah. But no, but there is this, um, there's this one part where it's like, um, there there's a there's a sidewalk and there's always a bike lane throughout the entire gulf but like sometimes the sidewalk cuts so like you kind of have to like run on the bike lane whatever so but i was at a part where i was on the sidewalk like jogging and this bitch on a bike is now on the sidewalk and i'm like oh that took effort to be this much of an asshole yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you weren't it's not the opposite we're like holy shit the sidewalk ran out i had to run in the in the bike lane and i'm sorry it was like no 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 there's a specific lane made for you this entire 12 mile stretch and you chose to get on the sidewalk okay but uh -huh. i'm like running and i kind of like move to like get out of her way ish because like this dumb hoe is on a bike Ho! screaming she throws her arms out and she's like six feet six uh feet. on the bike no, like, oh i'll put you six feet somewhere yeah no. i'll dig no, up a fatty I just kind of a, and i like literally stopped in my fucking tracks and i turned around and i was like you motherfucking bitch and she like looked at me she and i was riding. like get in your fucking bike lane one two why even be out if you're so worried about it and i just started losing it because i'm like no you don't get to tell me to get out of your way was she riding away when you were yelling at her then she just well she looked at me because i turned around and i was like excuse me and then she was like and then i just started screaming and then i started like jogging after and now i look crazy but like it's yeah. not there, it's not the first <laughs> yeah. time so i don't care yeah right but i'm just like that, that one made me snap because I'm like, no, I was minding my own business. Like, I tried to give you a little bit of space, but also, like, get in the fucking bike lane, you dumb cunt. Right. That's perfect for everything in a nutshell, too, right? I mean, like, you're doing your own thing. You're giving some space. You do whatever. You'll, I'll give some leniencies, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to bend over backwards because <laughs> whatever, right? Yeah. I'm also, like, I wasn't doing anything wrong here. 
Right. Like, you're I doing can see. You're like, I overbearing can really see. into everybody else's stuff. There's a specific problem with people not using sidewalks since this thing started. I feel like that might be the chief uh, uh, side effect of COVID is like forgetting how to use a fucking sidewalk. I wish we had sidewalks. Because they well, don't no, want to. No, but I, th I think, right, because people are like, oh, I, can't, I have to be so far away from people. Oh, yeah. And I have to put my child on a tricycle in the fucking, like, shoulder of a highway. You're a piece of shit. Like, use the goddamn fucking sidewalk. Who cares? Yo! I, I saw don't a lady. Breathe, uh, don't breathe when you pass them. You fucking no, it's dumb. unreal. It's absolutely unreal. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I said, I don't, I, like I said, I don't know what, I don't it's know what's going on with this virus. The media has created this hysteria. That's the fucking problem, is they have created, fucking Rachel Maddow has created this world where you have to be scared. And that's what they wanted, people to be scared of the person on the sidewalk next to them. That is, I think that's what they wanted. because they That's what the show it. Cops was about. What? Was it? Yes. Really? Yeah, I it was, was about, about Florida. It was about Yeah, I thought, uh, do you know that so uh, many um, cases happen in my hometown of Brevard County like that? It's like, that's like the main one. It's like, Brevard, I'm like, represent. Um, <laughs> but no, I think, um, yeah, you? you're right. Like, it's created a scary, <laughs> it's created a reason for people to be like mad at each other, or to like, to like feel like they're in the right. Like, it gives any reason that people have to be self-righteous, they will take. Yeah. Hundred percent. And I feel like now that's what this whole fucking virus thing has been is like, oh, I get to be holier than thou because like I'm always wearing my mask and I have hand sanitizer and Same. I have this and that. And it's like, okay, good for you. First of all, who in the fuck in New York City was going anywhere and not immediately either hand sanitizing or going to the bathroom and washing their hands? Oh, a lot of people. Oh no. Yeah. Whenever I got on the subway, I could not wait to wash my hands by the time I got off. Always. I it's when just, I first moved there, I I got over it because I get like weird like manic episodes as I'm sure you guys know. But like I when I the year I moved there, like my hands were raw because I used to just fucking hand sanitize all the time because I was so like. And then I kind of got used to it, and I'm like, you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. But I eat, I eat out of the garbage a lot. Yeah. <laughs> His immune system is fucking solid gold. It's Fort Knox. Same. I've never Primo. been sick. This COVID's not going to hurt you. I eat sweet and sour chicken out of the garbage at a store. Amazing. Uh, First of all, amazing. No, you didn't. No, you literally have to That was last week. I still do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's fresh. It's still in the fucking box. I, mean, I said for years. I always said it half joking that it's my immune system is going to be way higher because I eat out of the trash. It's fried now cat. Now look who's laughing now. It's okay? fried cat. What's going to go on? I like uh, love this camera. No, you should be fucking Howie Mandel if you're gonna live in the city, to be honest. Howie Mandel, oh, that guy's a little wild. Or wiping, you know. Well, no, but it's even shit like so. Like I went, I went to go, like I get my nails done and stuff like that. And I went to go get my nails done, and well, I that's was, like, a place where you can get a virus. I mean, they're bringing it right over when they're doing your nails. They're flying home to visit family. Goddamn and Ari and Elizabeth touching <laughs> your feet. Yeah, but they're so good. Yeah, but they like yeah, they eat bats. My favorite what? part is that they gave them, they give them like generic American names. Yeah. Thanks, Sally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Sally, never like, it's Sally like, oh, Julie's doing your nails today. I'm like, oh, are you Julie? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Sally from, Sally from Denang gave me a great French tip Denang. today. Yeah, my mom was always like, yeah, exactly. Julie, I love Julie at Nice Nails. She's the best. I'm like, mom, you didn't have the same person twice yet. <laughs> right. If there's just a name tag, then it's like Julie. Just the best. Like, hop in, yeah. No, but I feel like, but like when I go get, they're like, oh, we're taking serious, like we're taking precautions, like we're sanitizing everything. I'm like, were you not doing that before? Right. No, I, uh, I work yeah, for- Yeah, you filthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No, I, oh, I'll say oh, I'll say it this way. I'll say it like this. Uh, I do maintenance, like building maintenance sometimes, and there is a nail salon on my route. It's the fucking most disgusting place ever. Really? Yes, I refuse to do it there. I always call somebody. I'm like, hey, come take care of it. Do what? See, I don't know. Uh, plumbing, fi like fix it. Any fi do any change the light bulb. I don't know. I don't like going in. I'm like, I'll call them. Come fucking see all of my nail salons that I thanks. That I go to, like my one I used to go to in New York was, I mean, granted I pay way too much money for this shit, but like my one I went to in New York was immaculately clean. Right. And Did you go in the back? like, I never felt like, what'd you say? Did you go in the back? 
Why would I go in the back? I'm not Asian. For a sexy nail job? That's what I mean. In the back it is gross. And then in the front looks all nice. It's a Hawaiian nail bar. They're serving yeah, wine. Like They're serving beer. Pretty much everything about a woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker, I don't know. give up! I am. Um, no, but like <laughs> I said, I feel like it's, it's, just, it's been a funny time with this pandemic, too, because I feel like Hilarious. it's been really... It's been really funny <laughs> to me to watch everyone have, like, like comedians and stuff like that that I'm friends with have an actual meltdown over not being able to perform. And the funny thing is though, is like all of them are talking about unemployment. Like I'm talking about like open mic comedians, not like real comedians like that are like actually like, you know, have shows and doing shit like that. I'm talking about like open micers that I'm like Facebook friends with. They're like, oh, I'm out of work. I'm like, when were you working? Right, right. <laughs> like you can still walk dogs in a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody yeah. needs, like that's well, not. Well, you can't actually because everybody's home. So. Yeah, everyone's home now. So like people are going to have to like parent their own kids and walk their own dogs. But I just like, when I was looking at this, I'm like, when is not being able to do shows affected you? Like half these people I watch flipping out. I'm like, when has this ever affected you? They're just posting like, on stop Facebook. Stop pretending that like not... a comedy club closing is now like the end all be all. Like you're not doing anything. Like yeah. shut up. But like, I feel like it's been funny, like watching this like gradual meltdown of like so many people have realized, like I said, I had the realization where I'm like, I do have a set of skills. None yeah. of them are applicable. Uh -huh. But like these people who actually have no skills or no talent and no career, it's been so fun watching this. No just, skills, like, no talent, no career. You got no jobs. Our birds' heads are falling off. Um, uh, yes. But no, I feel like it's been funny watching their actual like decline and realizing like, oh God. I'm going to have to sand wood. Oh my God. No, but it's just like, go, fine, go the fuck back to Ohio. Like start a family, get a mortgage. I don't know what to tell you. Go like, the fuck back to Ohio. They really have no employable skills. If you're yeah. a devoted, like, fucking open micer, I'm pretty sure that you're not good at anything else. I'm going to try to pee on air. I've developed a lot of skills. Oh, yeah, I was going to have Mule call in. He couldn't do oh, it. The old bag was home. It. You're going to bust a north? Well, I feel bad. I keep having to leave to pee. So no, nah, dude. Do hey, dude. Well, hey, I, I was going to have Mule call with, in with on Twitter micers. and do a uh, live pee Hold stream, on. so you do it instead. No. I want to hear what Alex had to say about open micers. I think the thing with open micers is that you're right. They don't really, they either don't have any marketable skills in the entertainment industry. So, I mean, these are kids that like, you know, probably could just like move back to wherever the fuck they're from and like be an accountant and like right. be fine. I don't know how but, to like, add. They're socially inept in some way that they either like, this is the comedy scene for, it. I can tell you, this is the open mic comedy scene. It is uh, ugly musical theater chicks. Ugh. Oh, thespian? Who, no, 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 no. But who were like kind of like pretty ish for musical theater, which is, you know, the Special Olympics. Big nose. And with a guitar. Yep. That decided that they wanted to be actresses, but then realized they're far too ugly to ever actually get cast in anything. Even porn. Right. So, well, obviously not porn. Porn is porn. So then These they decide. Are too tight. You can't piss out of the shorts because they're too tight. Well, so then they decide that oh. they're going to go like be comedians because it's like, ooh, but I'm like kind of a pretty girl here and I don't, I've never written it. Like, I don't actually have any talent. Yeah, it's my like, 300 pound boyfriend tells me I'm funny. Right. So that's <laughs> that. Or it's like guys that are like just socially inept and it's like, is this funny or is this sad? I'm not sure what I'm watching. It's sad. It's sad as fuck. And then I, there's that percentage of people that are actually funny. And those are going to be the ones that do find a career in it and do find this and that. But like, I feel like it's so funny because so many of these people during this fucking pandemic that were like, I'm a comedian and I can't work. I'm like, you're not a comedian. No. You go to open mics, you work for a moving company, you walk dogs, you uh -huh. do like samples at the grocery store. Like these uh, are jobs that all these yeah. people have. Uh -huh. So they can rent like a $700 room, like a $700 a month room in Bushwick. And then they consider themselves a comedian because they have like a fucking bar show once a month that they put their friends up on. And it's like, ooh, dating is weird and orange man bad. Oh and no, it's like, Trump. Yeah, no, it's all Tinder jokes. I hate that shit. Where's the, where's the disconnect here though? Because is it, is the like actual scene so saturated that it's impossible to get in or are you just not funny? I, I no, think it's, it's a letter. they're not funny. They're not funny, but also there's a, the thing is, is, like, for the brief amount of time that I was actually doing stand-up, like, I had club spots. Like, I was doing stuff on the road. Like, and I, I'm, I mean, I'm not funny, 
but I'm also not an idiot. Uh, well, it I doesn't help have, that I'm super. I think cool. we have eight viewers who disagree. I mean, but it, but you know what? I mean? But it's not all eight. Holy shit! I can count that high. Eight um, people right now. No, we're not live, so uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this will but, probably garnish too. But, I, but I think like it's it's not hard to break into like if you have something that it, that is either marketable or people want to see or people want to hear. But right. I think that so many of these people like pretend to be disenfranchised because they're like, mm, the club seems yeah. so run by yeah. misogyny or, or this or that. Yeah, all they do is let men on stage. Yeah. And it, that's not it. It's like, yeah, you're not, you're just not good. But yeah, the problem so with this is that, yeah, go is ahead, that there's so many numbers of them that they've created this own community where they can like pat it's each other brutal. on the ass here. And now they feel like they have like a comedy community of people Yo, who are just I'm, like showing up at the same coffee shop. I'm part of this fucking group on Facebook, uh, Houston Comedian Shows or something like that. It's the saddest fucking thing ever. I just follow it. It honestly makes me feel good, better about myself. I'm like a drive-in show. What What the fuck? So you drive your car and you sit in your car to watch a comedian co open mic comp. I, I, don't, I, can't, I don't get it. I to, Alex's like point, to Alex's point, I, I think fucker? if you're, it, it's so tiring to even say at this point, but if at the end of the day, if you're funny enough, it, that's it. It'll take yeah. care of itself. That's that's it. It. Yeah. That's look it. at us. Yeah. So uh, speaking of funny, uh, you know, <laughs> if, if you like what we're doing, talking. all right, I mailed out a shit ton of stickers today to the new Patreons and uh, I got a whole nother stack right here. Sign up for Patreon. Yeah, I got one. You want oh a sticker? God. So we oh, have. Will you, put it, will you put one on your car? Yeah. Yeah. Shut. Shut up. But we just. Uh, we. Uh, uh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, we we've been slowly applying those stickers to our friend's car, like but without. Not, him, are, please tell me today. you're taking pictures and videos for the Patreon. We're we're three deep now, and uh, there's gonna be like four or five before we stop and he's not going to notice which is beautiful well yes. like i said i send me i'll i'll, I'll dm you but send yeah. me one if you want i'll put it on my car yeah i'll send you i'll send stickers, you four or five stickers for cigars stickers for, cigars. Uh, stickers for other things yeah too. stickers for cigars other things behind the scenes patreon exclusive content um you know we'll talk about that later and <laughs> no but what i was gonna say what I, what was i saying before oh but you like, can't I take away from our only fans what oh yeah we got to show our balls Oh, hey, Jim, did we come up with a price yet? Hold on, hold on. Let the, let the girl, finish her, yeah, let sorry, the girl finish her point. Let the young lady finish her point there. Oh, that's so cute that you let women speak. Yeah, I'm a, a, a true gentleman. Oh, no, but what I was going to say, though, is I think you're right. At the end of the day, funny is funny. But also, I think there's a thing that we're like, we're like, I kind of realized this myself. Like, I am a good writer. Stand-up was never, like, my end-all, be-all. Like, I was never like, oh, I really want to be a stand-up comedian. Like, I kind of was like, I want to get into it because I want to use it as an arena for other things. Like, I personally would much rather, like, podcast or, like, do radio. Right. But Karen Fien did. What? Karen Fien did that, right? Yeah. What is she doing? She's on OnlyFans. She's making 9K a month putting her butthole on the internet. Yeah. They're not even... I, I you can't pack it until you tried it, Alex. Right. No, you know what it is with her? And, like, I, I don't... I've actually never spoken to the girl face to face, which is fine because I don't think I could look at her for that long. She's so fucking ugly. <laughs> but I ah, woo! Naming fucking names. Girl. Now, Alex, you do know that is a big part of our show. We like to name names around here. So name and names. Oh, you know I don't give a shit. Yes, oh, let's hear no. some name calling. Name now name name. No, this is but what I just people feel like listen. with her, it's like, yep, someone's a comedian. Yeah, like, him. You you were able to what? Like grasp in like a weird group of like, you know what, honestly, good on her for getting that following and doing stuff like that. But like, remember when her pictures got leaked? I was like, I mean, she does, she has good abs. I'll tell her that. This is the girl who like thinks she has an ass. And like, I remember being out, I was at the stand one time. I and mean, I remember, everyone has an ass. What'd you say? Everyone actually has an ass. Right, right. no, she has one, but I was looking at her and I'm but, like, oh, you don't. Cause like, I'm not, not trying to like toot my own horn, but like, I have a great ass. And- Let's see it. No, I'm shut up. But I was like, I was like, oh, like I remember looking at her and like you can see like somebody's ass if it like kind of sticks like if they're if they're standing to the side if it's a profile view. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she just is good at like pulling up her like whatever line. Fine on her, great. The ugliest fucking face of any chick who's ever thought she was hot. Right. So you're saying like, uh, what does she look like to you? Is it an anime? She character? looks like she has fetal alcohol syndrome. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
I like well, it. I mean, it's probably no, but like the weird, like squinty, like malpositioned eyes, and I'm like, are you 45 or just 38 with bad Botox? Like, I can't tell. Ooh. I think it's in the middle. Like, it's a weird. But even with her, I'm like, so are you like trying to be a comedian, or is your thing you're just like an like ugly chick who has a decent body? Like, what is your thing? Well, it came to light that she's using her comedy to push her OnlyFans, right, Pinky? Yeah, yes, sir. comedy though. She I was said that. Covered on MLC, right? Yeah, she did. Uh, she did Misery Loves Company a few days ago, and was talking about her OnlyFans. Now, one of the uh, who the, who broke the news about that? One of the fans, right? On this, how much she was money making, or did she admit it on the show? Kevin, Ke Kevin said it on the show. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Didn't want to drop my horn. Uh, yeah, and she's just making what nine k from OnlyFans. I mean, good wow, for that's her. What, that's what he he deduced by like the the number of people versus like times the Patreon. I mean, honest to Christ, good for her, I, and I hope she's smart with it because God knows no one's gonna marry her and take care of her. So I hope she invests that and good yes, on her. I like it. Not, now, at, not at her age. Not at her age. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, and it's like you know what? Good for her. Let her live that, and it's like. God knows she's not making money doing comedy. So, like, yeah, right. Like, I got into a big Twitter spat with her because that stupid ass dumb bitch. Um, what is her name? Mika, Micah, Michaeline, whatever. Michael Fox. Michael Fox. Something. Oh, Micah Fox. Yeah. Oh, this is a while ago. I don't care. She's ugly. Um, yeah. <laughs> tweeted something about like, oh, I love going to restaurants and like seeing people who can't get roles as actors play the role as waiter. And I tweeted back. Oh my back, god. Well, but it's but it's also like because like I've obviously like if I'm been an actress and I've also like been a bartender in New York and like I've been you know and I was like you know what's hilarious is you're too fucking ugly to get a role as either oh yeah she's a dishwasher is that what you're saying yeah I mean she like but it's the thing is like I, I'm like that's another part of it it's like these bitches who like try to like talk like condescend like Bitch. girls working in service industry or like bartenders and stuff like this I'm like you do realize that like they don't hire ugly chicks to do that yeah so like you acting like you're holier than thou because like you've never been able to wait tables I'm like yeah, because nobody wants you serving them their food. That's how they lose their appetite, bitch. You can't upsell dessert when nobody wants their entree. Right, right. Like, just, like, you see that fucking nose? Like, absolutely not, you dumb cunt. Like, is it a hook or what? Oh, it's gross. She's just gross. She just has, like, an unfortunate face. Like, I've never yeah. looked at somebody, like, whose face is so, like, sadly config. Like, it's, but it's huh. just, like, a thing. So, anyway, I got into a huge Twitter thing with her. And then Karen, <laughs> Karen started, like, Mas like tweeting she's like if i ever see alex engelbert i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna punch her and i'm gonna do this and i'm like okay she's gonna punch you now that would be interesting to have tell alex engelbert <laughs> i'm gonna do this and i'm like oh you could just tell me you dumb bitch because like i don't block people you don't so well, i'm blocked i've done been blocked from me blocked? no 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 your girl Free hams. Oh, but like, I just don't, like, I don't care. Cause I'm like, what are you mad about? I called your girl ugly because she said something stupid. Yes. And where's the lie? Yeah. Like she, Why? like, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but like, tell me when I was wrong. I wasn't. Uh -huh. And you're mad because what? Like you're two just like sad, ugly bitches. Like, and, but honestly, like good for you. Everyone has to find a hustle. Right. So like you, you found it on OnlyFans. You know what? Great. Like they're good for you. No. I have yeah, no. Just own it is my old thing. I could care less, but just yeah. own it. Just yeah, don't, yeah. Just be like, yo, I'm showing my like, asshole. Just don't play you know it all. What like it's like to, to me is it's like, you know, years ago, but I think the problem with the entertainment industry too is like the way we consume entertainment and the way it's become available to us, there's so much. Because like even like with the beauty of Compound is like you don't need to be, have like a Comedy Central like Comedy Central's bullshit now, but I'm saying That's you don't trash. need to have like a show on a network TV show to be making money off of doing comedy and doing entertainment. Yeah, look so at So I feel like, but the <laughs> thing is, is like, do you remember years ago when like they would get a comedian, say like like Lisa Lampanelli or like Janine Garfalo or one of those who would like all of a sudden like, oh, fun surprise, I'm going to do a cover for like Marie Claire. I'm going to do this. Or like Chelsea Handler did like Playboy and Chelsea, like kind of showed her tits. And it's like, oh, that's funny. But like, she made most of her money doing comedy and like, oh, look, she's also has big tits. Right. Yeah, she made you most know, of her money berating a Spanish midget. Yeah, that was her. fucked up. I make yeah. a lot of my money doing that too, but that's just our bus boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, like, yeah. Me too, but he's just sitting next to me. Um, Can I get a refill? Uh, yeah, well, we're an hour and a half in. I thought we would uh, hear your- uh, Are we really? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, do it we is. need to go? Yeah, I well, I was gonna, I was gonna see if. Uh, what are your top five favorite Twitter beefs that you've been in? Because I Wait, know. Wait, do I've... we need to go? 
We're getting, we're, yeah, we're going to wrap it up. Do you guys want to wrap it up or you just want to keep going? I don't give a fuck. Wrap, we can wrap it up. We can start wrapping it up. But um, I like the question. I do, yes. Top five, or actually top three, favorite Twitter beefs that you've been involved in. Uh, name some names. I mean, I, we See, I, I haven't been in any Twitter beefs because they all block me. Oh, real beefs? Well, like, because I will have no problem tweeting shit, but I probably, Stacy and her fatter friend. Oh, what, what now? Okay. Oh, she's um, fat no more. She's fat no more. Who's her friend? Whatever. They're both fat, but, um, oh. Kerrigan, uh, not Kerrigan. No, no. What's her name? Fucking Kensington or whatever. That one. And then. Yo, there he is. <laughs> oh my God. Vietnamese Rob, everybody say hi. Rob, Rob's Vietnamese. Oh, dude. Niao. Um. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> Line of the day. I love it. Yes, um, and then I don't know, because like the thing is, is I don't really get in a ton of Twitter beefs with people. Right, what about those, like real beefs? Like, do you get beefy a lot? Like, you just don't give a fuck, right? You'll tell them, like, hey, get the fuck out the bike lane. Here's the problem. I think everybody has this like conception where like I. Not at all. Like, love to start fights or like love to start drama, which I, I don't, but I do love being involved in it. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, You'll love the show. I believe yeah, the like, term I, is when keeping it real goes wrong. I like yeah, yeah. I like Alex for uh, oh well a lot of reasons. But, hey. Um, that she gets she tweets like she's getting in a fight with herself. I love it. It's the best. I think I have to follow it. Well, I just you know what it is is like I feel like I. There's a lot of like, like most of my views are with like the ugly chicks, but it's all like, there's always been this thing where it's like, because I, I don't give a shit and I will tell people to fuck off. And like, I, I don't, and it's not even like one of those, like, oh, I don't give a fuck. I'll start a fight with anybody. But like, I, I don't care enough because like, I'm not the one who's trying to have a career in comedy. Like I'm not pathetic. Yeah. So like, I, I don't really have anything <laughs> to lose if I tell somebody like, you know what I Like, I don't. Yeah. Like, I don't have anything to lose. So I think people have translated this into being like, oh, we are going to make Alex the girl who's like instigating stuff and who's doing that. And like 99% of these fights I'm in have been like, okay, I don't even know this person. This is incredibly weird that they're like stalking me on Instagram or like sending me weird shit. And then I'll turn around and like, like rebuttal or stand up for myself. And then all of a sudden it's like Engelbert, bully racist well that part's true like oh. you know like all this shit that it's like you know just don't like i feel like that's 99 percent of my beefs is me being like hey fuck off like you I, don't just, i don't know why all of a yeah. sudden like i am like cast as like this like absolute terror which i, I am but like give me a reason to i don't think that's it at all i think it uh for me you know you're cast as an exciting person on twitter and throughout the shows i mean one of the well, great you. you know you're gonna hear you know you're gonna hear some good shit Always entertaining. Always entertaining. Well, I mean, I try to be, but it's also like, I feel like it's not even a matter of like being entertaining. Like, I, I think that's, I think things are entertaining when they come from like a genuine place. Same. I don't think yeah. that anything's entertaining <laughs> is doing shit just for like the sake of being ridiculous. Do you get what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's why like, I don't think it's entertaining to be, like, that's why I don't think victimhood is entertaining. Like, yeah, even like, with uh, that whole, no, but even with that whole fucking, like, Kendra Land thing, whatever, like, I'm like, it's not cute to be a victim and to, like, pretend that, like, you're just, like, being, like, chased after and, or, like, whatever. I'm like, that's right. not cute. Right. So what you're like, saying is, like, if, if you got raped once, like, to shut up about it, it's not going to happen again? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, maybe, like, fix your hemlines so you could have prevented it in the... <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right. Or maybe keep an eye on your drink, right? How hard yeah. is that? How many eyes do you have? I don't know. Or maybe exactly. just be a dumb bitch. Yeah. Oh, don't be yeah. a dumb cunt. Yes, yeah. be smart. Have rules. Yeah. Have boundaries. You be know? smart. I do feel like um I feel like I've very easily been like cast into this thing of like being like a huge bitch or like people who like go after people like I don't go after anyone unless like they say something really fucking dumb. Yeah, no, or, that's what we love here at Ski Mask Collective. That's why we have you on the show. Thanks, boo. Or like if they're like lying, you know what I mean? Like that's my Yeah, thing. I don't like the liars. I, 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 we have a few in yeah. our realm. They it's live also, also too, it's like, you know, like <laughs> I will own up to every fucking dumb thing I've done, which has been a lot. Yeah. Um, And I've done, I feel like, like I've done- What'd you say? Likewise. 
No, but like I feel like I've done so much dumb shit as it is. Yeah. That's what? true. That it's like, why do you feel the need to make up other dumb shit? Like, there's plenty of stuff in the arsenal that you could have used against me. Why are we inventing new stories? Yeah, yeah. There's there's plenty of stuff out there. Yeah, if they're trying to. And I feel like me. that's why, like, I get pissed off at people because I'm like, oh my god, of all the fucking real ass dumb things I've done, <laughs> we're gonna go and like make this up. Like, that's actually insane. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I guess. Agreed. I guess like Kel- I guess Kellyanne, and then um the one senile fuck and then her fat friend i think those are probably my two favorite beeps but like they both started as like nothing just them being like she went after me and i was like who are you i have to look up who you are oh wow well i think would be the two biggest main ones ones. now do you see a new one in the immediate future now when you do get into another beef and ski mask collective reaches out to you will you do the show to cover it we'll have you on immediately all right i like it yes we will do that but i don't have any new I know, but when the time comes, because it will, and uh, just, you know. I mean, I don't know, because, like, I'm out of New York. I'm not really, like, doing shit anymore. Like, I still do Twitter because, like, I love Twitter. Right, yeah, you, you're a blast on there. I think, what was it, last night you said, uh, I, I'm going to get blocked or banned. Uh, oh, well, no, because what's his fucking name? The the slant from um, <laughs> SNL. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, is, he, is he from SNL? Or are you talking? Wasn't that the guy that was running for president? That's, oh, the, that's a good term. Uh, no, slope. that was that he's was right here. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's hey. right there. Yeah, he's hanging out with the boys. Can you put your bat away? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, would like what? to leave my. I would like to leave my house sometime this year. Rob, um, do you have anything you'd like to say uh, to the lady here? Oh no, I'm good. I honestly, I've been standing here staring at your rack. Uh, <laughs> It's very right. nice. Yeah. So, Thank Alex, you. where can we find you? Yes. Twitter. My, my favorite. Twitter set. at Ho Exotic. No, it's, it's, it's my name, at Alex Engelberg. I just did Ho Exotic because the Tiger King documentary was happening. But yeah. if you have. That, oh, that's your. Okay, you're right. You're right. I got it mixed up. It's just Alex Engelberg. <laughs> However, if you have any new um, suggestions, for a handle that's not how exotic, like something kind of current and stupid, feel free to throw them at me because yeah, I've, I'll been, give you a I've been racking, racking my brain for them. Racking. Um, no. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll send you, I'll send you a couple. I got a couple in mind that, uh, you. you know, I won't say here, maybe on the Patreon next time news breaks. Okay. Well, Jen. send me the stickers. I'll send you guys some cigars. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Enjoy your acid trip. Yeah, God fellas. Bless. You guys look beautiful just tripping over there. It's amazing. Beautiful no, boys. Good. God bless Alex for doing this. Yes. This was fun. Thank uh, you. Thank you for holding it down, Pinky.